the sun is the most important heavenly body. It is the king of the stars. The earth and the planets go around the sun. The sun is a huge ball of fire, full of burning gases. It gives us heat and light. This heat and light helps all living things to live and grow, to become strong. It gives us day and night. It gives us the seasons. The heat and light given by the sun changes at different parts of the day and different times of the year. The hottest part of the day is noon when the sun is directly overhead. The coolest part of the day is early morning or late night after the sun has set. The hottest season of the year is summer when we have many hours of sunlight. The coldest season of the year is winter when we have fewer hours of sunlight. At night, after the sun sets, we can see the pearly moon which moves around the earth and thousands of stars. The stars seem to twinkle as they are also big balls of fire like the sun. At times, we cannot see the stars in the night sky due to the cloudy weather. Have you seen the colour of the sky at sunrise and sunset? Go out and see the sky at sunrise and sunset and compare the colours of the sky. The sun and shadows. The sun is also the cause of shadows. When the light of the sun is blocked by an object, the dark area beside that object is called a shadow. Let us do an activity. Go out in the sun at different times of the day and observe your own shadow. Move in different ways and see how your shadow changes. Play games with your shadow. The position of the sun decides the length of a shadow. At noon, the sun is overhead, so there is hardly any shadow. In the morning and afternoon, when the sun is in the east and the west, you block the sun's rays and your shadow is long. In the morning, your shadow is in the west. In the evening, your shadow is in the east. You cannot see a shadow when the sun is covered by clouds. Shadows can be seen only in the presence of light. Let us have some fun with shadows. Use a dark room and a torch. Put different objects in front of the torchlight and watch the shadows. Now, by using your hands, try to form shadows of animals on the wall. Try to touch something and see if your shadow touches it too. Now, gently try to move your hand in such a way that your shadow continues to touch it.